All right, hello everyone. This is basement fire alarm test 49. We're one away from 50. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what we have installed for today. So if we go right down to the pole station, we have one of my Simplex 4250 120s. This is a slightly newer one. If I look in here, it's got like the ridged pole handle rather than the flat one that a lot of the older ones did. Um, and it's a much brighter red than a lot of the ones I have. So uh, there it is, Simplex 4250-120, very, very nice. And if we go up above, I have one horn that I have never used before and a strobe blade that I have used before. Uh, you can see that I have my Simplex 4051 horn, which once again, I've never shown in a video. And it is on top of my Simplex 2903-9105 strobe plate. Uh, that horn is coded to March time. Sounds very nice, just like a regular old Simplex 4051 horn. It is uh, very, very loud. And uh, strobe will flash, as usual, because it's, of course, wired separately. So, let's get started. And of course we have audible silence and see that strobe flashing. It is kind of loud. Uh, fun fact, um, the strobe on this is um, actually designed by Gentex. It's um, very similar to the uh, like the older SHG strobes. It's the, it's the same strobe model, but it's simplex of course. So, there it is. It was like one of the uh, first ADA strobes that Simplex sold. Anyway, we will reset this pole station now using our Simplex B key. And you can hopefully kind of see the model number in there. 4251-20. There it is. As you can see, it has a uh, zone two written in it, even though it's been a long time since this has been installed in the system. But there it is. And, uh, you know, just for the heck of it, let's key activate it. And we'll reset. All right. So that is the end of today's video. As always, thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to check out the links in my description. Thank you and have a great day.